the Constitution, which is constantly referred to, is not an abstract document. That document contains fundamental rights and freedoms. And in simple terms, those are rights that each and every person is entitled to, and they're worthy of protection. Every person is entitled to freedom. The exception to that is proof beyond a reasonable doubt that they have committed an offense. At the stage when someone is charged, that hasn't happened yet. So if we are going to deprive someone, anyone, everyone of that right at that very early stage, we have to be very cautious about it. And we are concerned that this bail act, which is a complete repeal and replacement of what exists, does not sufficiently consider the value of that right and the risk that it poses to every citizen. It is possible and does happen that people who are innocent are charged with offenses as serious as murder or as simple but serious as possession of one round of ammunition. And that is something for which this act says the court should be reluctant, not only be reluctant to grant bail, but imposes a responsibility on the person who has been charged to prove that they should be released. That is an absolute about face and completely contrary to every legal principle that has governed this area of law. And it is simply because if you are presumed innocent until you are proven guilty, how are we saying that you must now prove your innocence just so that you can be released on bail? At a stage when the prosecution doesn't even have to prove, or in many instances, does not have the resources to prove at that stage that you are in fact guilty. That is actually one of the major reasons why the legislation was, re was declared unconstitutional on the last occasion. That was one of the primary concerns the constant and consistent delay in producing sufficient evidence so that the court could decide whether the evidence was strong enough or weak enough for a person to be convicted. So they could decide whether a person should be granted bail. Instead, now we have said, you've been charged. You may not even know the full extent of the evidence against you, but you must prove that you are innocent in order to be granted bail. <laughs>